We're now going back to the Type Tool and we'll spend some more time over here working with the Type Tool and show you how to use all these different type options. You've already seen how to do the basic type entering. Simply click and begin typing. And when you're happy with your type, just click on the green check mark and you then can set that type in place. If you want to edit your type, just go back to your type tool and select your type. You then can do anything you want to that type. You can change your typeface if you want to. There we go. You can change what it says. You can change the color of your type. You just bring a window down a little bit here. There we go. Click on color. Here's our color of our type changed. So all kinds of adjustments can be made after you have made your type. You can change your font size, adjust letting, and so forth. Let's just put in some paragraphs here. I'll call this paragraph one, paragraph two, and paragraph three. And let's look at the letting on these paragraphs. That's the spacing in, be in between. Now, auto is going to automatically find the standard spacing, which is, I believe, two points above your typeface. Let's set this at 14 point. Kind of squeezes them together. 48 is the same as the typeface you can see there. 60 is further apart. So you can see how adjusting the letting adjusts the spacing between lines, between multiple lines. There's 36 real tight. So that's what your letting does. You can also type in a number. Let's say I wanted to have this at 40 points. You can type in a number as well. Let's do 42. When you're happy, just choose OK. Now, I'm going to do that and let's take a look at our alignment here. We can center align, left align, or right justify. Kind of hard to see if it's just the one. We select all of those. There's centered. Pull that back in again. There we go. There's right. They're lined up on the right hand side. There's left. Notice that does kind of jump around and the alignment point actually is in the middle of the, of the page there. There's the middle of the page. That's the middle of the page. So you can adjust your alignment very easily as well. Again, while your type is selected. There we go. It's just standard stuff. You know, we've already seen the bold, italic, underline, and stripe. You can do all of them at once if you want to, if you need have any need for that. And we've seen how you can go for vertical or horizontal type. It's all of your standard tools. Let's just cancel that out. I'm going to hide that layer. Let's say you wanted to put in a vertical type. Click on the vertical type tool and click in here. And it will type it in vertically. Now once you're here, you can change that over to horizontal. Just cl click on this tool right here and you can go back and forth between horizontal and vertical. The next two tools, these are the masking tools. And that allows you to create masks and then put stuff inside of masks. We'll be playing with those in just a little bit. And then of course the text on selection server will get down to those as we move further forward. Let me just adjust this, get ready for our next video here. Let's just set this back to horizontal. Let's find a real nice wide typeface here. Aerial black is pretty good and let's make this a good large size. I'm going to go even larger. I'm going to go to 144. There we go. Make that real big type. We'll do that because we're going to be doing something else a little later on. Actually, let's just adjust this and let's make this a little more standard. I'm going to do one more adjustment here. Actually, that's okay. I'll just change that to ship since we're doing ships today and choose OK. So there you go. There's the basics on working with your text, working with your type. We've already seen most of this, of course, already. But let's now begin to do some fancier stuff with our 
text. Again, notice how as we put in text, it goes onto its own layer. If I come in here and put in a another bit of text in here, I'll just click off of this, go to our type tool, click down here. I'll put in boat. Notice that comes on as a new layer. Also, notice how the type layer gives you what is typed on that layer. This is just saying layer 2 because I haven't confirmed this yet. Once I confirm this, it's going to change where it says layer 2. It'll change that to saying boat, as you can see right there. So it's easy to see what layer you're looking at because it's going to be telling you what that layer is because you'll see the text actually on that layer. Okay, let's move on to the next video and begin playing with styling of our text. You actually can put a lot of styles and effects right onto your text, right on the page. Now these styling effects work best with big, fat, bold kind of type where you actually have something to work with. They don't work out very well with thin type. So just keep that in mind when you're working with your layer styles. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.